Yeah, I know. The Bills lost. I got nothing. There's no excuses, man. I watched that game. I watched every snap of it. The Chiefs are just too good, and there's just nothing else to it. I admitted defeat. You guys heard what you want to hear. Let's start the fucking video. All right, what is up, guys? And today we are back on Madden 21, although today I think I'm going to do something that you guys are really going to like. At least I hope you do, because I'm excited for this. So I'm technically going to be doing a rebuild, but not really, because this is going to be a Madden relocation with a fantasy draft. Basically, I'm going to find a team that I think the most needs to just pack up their shit and fucking relocate. I'm going to do a fantasy draft with that team, and I'm going to simulate a year just so I can do the whole relocation process. And then when we're a brand new relocated team, I'm going to try and win a Super Bowl. Okay, so if this were a flat-out rebuild, the team that I think needs to be rebuilt the most is the Texans, but this isn't a flat-out rebuild. And the Texans realistically could be relocated, but they're somewhat of a new team, so to me, I just don't think that they need to leave quite yet. However, a team that I do think needs to pack up their shit and just fucking get out of the league, either the Jaguars or the Lions. Jacksonville needs it, but with this upcoming season, they might have kind of a promising future. But the Lions, they gotta fucking go. Hey, it's Matt Patricia. I can guarantee you that fat toad's gonna be fired before week one. Now, in order to relocate, I need to be an owner. So I'm going to be a new owner, and I think a former player only fits right. Kelvin Johnson it is. We can leave Barry Sanders out of this. Okay, so we're ready to start the fantasy draft. I'm just debating on what I want to do. If I'm going to play all offense, it probably makes sense for me to just stack our offense as much as we can. But it also kind of makes sense for me to just stack our defense as much as fucking possible so then the computer just annihilates them. Let's see what our pick is first. All right, so we got the eighth pick. Devontae Adams is right there. George Kittle, Nick Chubb. Damn, dude, we're going to have a lot of options. Is Tredavious White still here? Damn, dude, someone picked Tredavious White before Gilmore. Tredavious White went in the top seven. How about Josh Allen? Josh Allen's still here. Number one pick is Josh Allen, boys. I got to do it. Okay, so normally I always wait on my quarterbacks, but I picked a quarterback. I might try to get a good running back. I wonder if Nick Chubb is still here. All right, so I think we're going to wait on a running back. Nick Chubb isn't here anymore, and I, I mean, I like Joe Mixon and Josh Jacobs, but I don't need to reach for him. I'm going to be different. We're going to go Travis Kelsey, because you guys know I throw to my tight end 95% of the time. Okay, so now we're here, and I, I already know I'm going to be picking a corner. There's a lot of good corners left. I kind of want Zavin, but Denzel Ward is right here too. Yo, we're going Denzel Ward, guys. It's a one overall difference, and honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I like Denzel a lot. So now we need to get a stud wide receiver, and I want to pick one before it's too late. Adam Thielen I love, but I don't think he's the answer. However, I think Justin Jefferson is the answer, so we're going to go ahead and pick him up right now. Okay, so I have a ton of love for Marlon Mack. I think anybody knows that. James Robinson's right here. Clyde is still right here. Kareem Hunt is right here, and I think we all know how good Kareem Hunt actually is. We got to go with my boy, though, the fantasy king, James Robinson. I love James Robinson, dude. Okay, so just five picks into the draft so far, my team is looking like this. We got Travis Kelsey at tight end, Denzel Ward is a cornerback, Josh Allen, quarterback, Justin Jefferson's our wide receiver, and our running back is James Robinson. Bro, you guys are going to call me insane for this? Give me Antoine Winfield Jr. as a safety, bro. The Browns just picked up Colin Kaepernick? Jesus Christ. Ah, dude, I would love to pick Jordan Poyer, but Harrison Smith is just way too good. All right, so I think we're going to go back to our wide receivers now. AB wouldn't be bad. AB really wouldn't be that bad. Not gonna lie to you guys, I see a lot of young receivers down here that I'm gonna want at some point, like Brandon Ayuk and T. Higgins are both right there. But I like the Antonio Brown play here. Josh Allen needs a veteran to throw the ball to. All right, you guys are gonna laugh at me now, but we're gonna stack the O-line for Josh Allen. Welcome to the team, Jason Kelsey. Richie Incognito. Brandon Brooks. Where's my right tackle? Ah, oh, dude, okay, so I'm not even gonna try and draft a right tackle because they're gonna be dog shit no matter what, but look at my fucking O-line right now. So our secondary is actually not as bad as I thought it was, although our linebackers are going to be fucking horrible. All right, guys, so I am now simming the draft. I think I made it to like round 20 or something like that. We will go ahead and get an in-depth look at the team I end up with right after this is done simulating. But now the rest of this video is going to be me selecting where we're going to relocate to, what team we're going to be, what our stadium is going to look like, what our colors are going to be. First order of business, Matt Patricia's fired. I'm not tolerating a moment of this guy's bullshit. All right, and the team that I ended up with has a 92 offense, but only an 80 defense. So let's take a look at what I got. All right, so my offense is looking pretty fucking good. We got Josh Allen, Justin Jefferson, James Robinson, J.K. Dobbins, Antonio Brown. We have John Ross on there for speed as well. We got Travis Kelsey and Dawson Knox. I had to pick Dawson Knox up. You know I'm a big Dawson Knox guy. And now our defense, we have like two or three good players, and the rest are just kind of shit. 
We got Harrison Smith and Antoine Winfield. I'm feeling great about my safeties. Then our corners, we have Denzel Ward, and then it dips down to Trey Waynes. And our linebackers and our defensive line is pretty dog shit, dude. But I did draft Justin Tucker. Okay, and the relocation process has begun, meaning we just have to start simulating games, and in our things to do, we'll start getting prompts to start selecting new options for the new team. Uh, apparently I have to cut somebody. Yeah, Trevor Simeon, you can just get the fuck out of here, dude. Okay, so I have simulated all the way through preseason. I don't know what the fuck our record was. I think we were 2-2 two and two or something. And now we're in the regular season of week one. Like I said, I'm going to sim this entire year, but we're going to probably start getting relocation prompts starting now. Hey, we're 1-0. and oh. I wish you could relocate and then do the draft after you relocated. Might be able to do it, honestly. I just don't know how. All right, so now we've simmed through four weeks. We are on week five, which is our bye week. Uh, I think we're three and one. They lost to somebody, but we have our first relocation option. All right, so we got London, Mexico City, Toronto, San Antonio, Orlando, Salt Lake City. I don't think they've changed these options since like Madden 11. This is really disappointing, Madden. Are you fucking kidding me? I haven't attempted a relocation in like probably six years and it, this has not changed one bit. Okay, so Mexico City has a huge market. Toronto would be cool to go to because I think Canada should have an American football team. San Antonio, I have no interest in going to. All right, let's do Mexico City. I like the hardcore fan base. It reminds me of the Bills Mafia and they have a huge market. All right, now we get to choose the name of the team that we want to be. So we could remain as the Lions, which clearly nobody wants to see that. We could be the Diablos, which the fans have a ton of interest in, to be completely honest. That's a pretty badass logo. I kind of like that myself. We have the Golden Eagles, which, I mean, that's kind of, that's low-key kind of clean too, but I don't like it as much as the Devils. All right, so I think by a landslide, we are going to be the Mexico City Diablos. By the way, the Lions are 4-1 and one right now. Okay, so the first uniform we got, uh, it has a 61% popularity poll. I don't hate it. I don't love it because the away uniforms look a lot like the Atlanta Falcons. We got the next group, which has a 63% popularity poll, and to be honest, there's really not a whole lot different. So basically here, actually, it looks like the Chargers, except it's just red and black instead of blue and yellow. And these ones, I can't tell where they're pulling those from. And then we have Style 3, which has a 64% popularity poll, and I'm probably going to pick them because they remind me of the Georgia Dogs. And I like the collegiate attire, so we're going to go ahead and pick this uniform. And the final step before we can sim the rest of the season is we have to choose our stadium. All right, so since we're in Mexico City, I don't think a dome is the way to go. It's going to be nice outside majority of the time, so we're going to skip this. We got the basic traditional stadium, but that just doesn't seem like it's innovative enough for a brand new team. We got the Deluxe Canopy Stadium, which to be honest with you, that might be the ugliest fucking concept for a stadium I've ever seen in my entire life. We got the Deluxe Futuristic Stadium, which is looking pretty likely. That looks badass. And then we have the Deluxe Hybrid Stadium, which I wouldn't mind, although it just it looks it looks ugly. I'd be cool with this one, but it's ugly as hell. We're going to go with the Deluxe Futuristic Stadium. This thing's expensive as fuck, but it's going to be worth it. All right, now that that's all done, we can simulate to the playoffs. All right, so we didn't make the playoffs, it turns out. Matter of fact, the bye weeks are given to the Jets and the Rams. All right, so the Lions went 8-8. Eight and eight. Honestly, kind of respectable, but they didn't make the playoffs. I have no guilt now leaving Detroit. We're fucking out of here. But before I end this video and end this season, I want to see the stats for the season. All right, so in the NFL for passing, Philip Rivers, Jordan Love, Derek Carr, Joe Burrow are the first four leading in passing yards. It looks like Josh Allen was at number nine with 4,222 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. And he had one rushing touchdown, but it looks like James Robinson had nine of them. All right, guys, so I'm simulating to the next season. and the next video comes, we are going to start playing as the Mexico City Diablos. Sorry to anybody who wanted gameplay. I'm, I, we had a ton of stuff to get done this video, but I promise you it's going to start the next time we hop on Madden. Guys, as always, I had a ton of fun making this video. If you like it, please feel free to smash the thumbs up button and drop me a sub. This point in life, subscriptions mean the world to me, so anyone I can get, I'll take. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, I'm going to end this video now so I can edit this bad boy and get it out to the public. So as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.